Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you thrifting with me to the Goodwill outlet bins and two Goodwill stores in my area. And then in a few days, I will post my haul. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. <music> here at the bins. I'm going to hit the bins and then I'm going to go to a regular Goodwill store. I set the morning aside for some thrifting. Um, it's cold, cold in Minnesota. So, <laughs> um, thrifting is a good way to stay warm. Anyway, I'll do a little shop along and then on Tuesday you'll see my haul for this shop along. I think that's the way I'm going to try to work it in uh, this early part of the new year. So, um, I hope we find some good stuff. Let's go see. I recently made a list of all the things I'm hunting for specifically in 2020 at the bins and at thrift stores and at yard sales. But when I go to the bins, I try to keep an open mind because you just never know what you're going to find. Some of the specific things I'm looking for this year are ironstone, brown glass bottles, vintage Christmas, always vintage Christmas. I'd love to add more to my recently acquired thermos collection. And then I'm always looking for things that I may not want to hold on to, but that I might want to list for sale in my Etsy shop to pass along to someone else. One thing I noticed at the bins on this particular day was that it seemed like someone's maybe antique booth or, or vintage shop had gone out of business and they had donated a lot of their items because you'll see a lot of items with a pink Minnesota tag. These are really pretty. They're Franciscan. They were green, like a dark green background with a lighter green flower. They didn't go with what I'm doing in my house. I thought about picking them up for my Etsy shop, but they were really heavy and I've been trying to stay away from items that are just too heavy because people don't want to pay the money to ship things. If you've watched my channel at all, you know I enjoy lusterware, but that peach lusterware and this other little piece coming up had definitely seen better days. This little snowman caught my eye because he definitely had a vintage vibe to him. There were several elephants throughout the bin, but most of them had gotten chipped either prior to entering the bins or while in the bins. And I wouldn't be keeping them for myself. I was looking at them to sell, but I don't ever pick anything up to sell that has any sort of chips or cracks. I loved this footed bowl. I think it's opalescent glass, although I'm not entirely sure. It did have a really big chip and it was a very sharp chip, so I left it behind, but I thought it was really pretty. And you can see that pink sticker. It was again from that vintage shop or booth, antique booth.
This baking pan or baking tin is by the company Nordicware, which is very common in Minnesota, and they're really nice. They're really heavy. I thought this owl piece of needlework was really pretty because it was all like cream tones, but the frame had gotten really sooty and the bottom part of the needlework had gotten dirty. A friend from Instagram actually so showed me some really neat DIYs to do with old Christmas tree stands. I'm not quite ready to collect those for those projects yet, but I find them all the time at the bins, so I know I'll be able to find them when I decide I want to do that craft. I thought this was a cute little chicken wire basket that might make a nice farmhouse DIY. I thought about picking up these twine balls. They are really useful. I do use them around my house a lot, but I do have several. These were really neat ornaments. I know I had something like this as a kid. The bins on this particular day were particularly chaotic. A lot of times the stuff at my bins is more organized, like you'll have a bin of housewares or a bin of toys, but everything was just everywhere on this particular day. So it took a lot of digging to find anything. I really liked this ceramic Christmas village, but because the wires were separate, I think they would have charged me by weight for it and it was really heavy. So I did not get that. I found a whole bunch of someone's Dollar Tree DIYs where you like glue a bowl to a candlestick. They are a dime a dozen on YouTube and there were several in the bins that day. I thought this plate was really pretty and I have had some success selling decorative plates in my Etsy shop. If I could have found a mate for it, I would have gotten it, but I don't really sell single plates. I've only had success selling sets of two or more, so I left that behind. I spotted this piece of ironstone, but I actually used the ironstone plates that we have and it had a big chip in it, so I left that behind. These were some nice falls graft dishes in the pattern called Galaxy Red. Very heavy plates.
anytime I find cookie cutters in the bins, I always check to see what treasures there might be. Okay, so I'm done with the bins. I'm gonna be real honest, that was not a great bin trip. There's usually so much more. I think it's, you know, post Christmas, maybe the donations are down. I don't know, but there wasn't a ton. You can probably tell from the shop along. I did get a few things, but nothing that I'm like, whoa. I did find one piece of milk glass that I have been searching for, I think, if it's the right size. So, um, so that was a good find, but other than that, huh, got a few things, nothing major. So let's hope we have some better luck at Goodwill. Um, they, it is a sale day and on their sale days, our Goodwill prices are so bad that I really only go for the sale tickets. So unless you go early in the morning on the sale day, you don't really find anything. So we'll see if there's, um, anything there. I'm getting there just around opening. So I will let you know. I also forgot to tell you, I do have a 50% off of a regularly priced item. So that's my fallback plan. If I find something amazing that isn't the right color, I can always use that because I made a big drop off the other day. So we'll see. These dishes caught my eye. They are, they're not Hy-Vee, they're actually grape leaves. And the prices were fine. They were 99 cents a plate. It's a Johnson Brothers pattern. I really love Johnson Brothers plates. That's definitely been a thing lately. One thing the Goodwills around here have done recently is lowered their prices on plates and glasses and mugs. So most dishes now are 99 cents as well as mugs and glasses. There was a while there where they were charging like $2.99 a plate, which was just ridiculous. I found several pieces of silver crest throughout the store, not just in the dish area. So someone had clearly donated their collection, which is always a little sad. I almost had another pair of claw talon tongs to list in my Etsy shop. I've actually sold this exact pair on my shop before, but this particular pair had some rust. It wasn't in the best shape, so I left it behind. I thought this mug was really pretty. It didn't have a mark or if it did, it was covered, but I just thought that was a really pretty pattern. This little girl figure was actually a salt or pepper shaker. I could not find her mate, but I thought it was really cute and it had that heart hanging around it. Might have made a nice Valentine decoration, but I really wanted the match. I have sold these cherished teddies before. They're for birthday months. I'm not sure which month this one was for because it was covered up by the sticker. But I thought about picking that up, and I loved these little figures for a Christmas village. Pewter has definitely been catching my eye again, probably influenced by Jamie over at Border Bananas. But I'm going to need to keep my eye out at the bins for it, because the Goodwill retail stores around me price it really high.
Sorry for my finger in the shot here, but I really liked these green jars. I think they're from Target or Walmart. I was looking at each of them to see if maybe one of them had a yellow tag, but none of them did, so they all got left behind. A joke that they changed the prices. Look at this. Here's a yellow tag, which is what's on sale today, covered with a pink tag. Unbelievable. As I was waiting in line, I spotted another shelf of items with these blue dishes on them. I thought they were just gorgeous. And then I also found these pink glasses, which were really heavy and really pretty and only 99 cents a piece. Okay, um, so that was uninspiring. I did find three items, one that I needed one I wasn't even looking for, but uh, it'll be useful, and one I'm always on the hunt for, so. I saw this cutie little bunny candle peeking out at me from behind that box. It was pretty cute and only 99 cents. I love this white milk glass swung glass vase. I actually have one just like it at home, but you know, they're all a little bit different, but this one did not have a price on it. And this Goodwill won't sell you anything that doesn't have a price. So that was unfortunate. Hey look, another nut bowl, just like the one I recently bought, which we used all Christmas season, but mine was in much better shape. I was super excited to find this ironstone platter and it was a yellow tag, the only one I found the whole day. I thought this yellow and white sugar bowl and teapot were just adorable, but the lid was missing from the teapot. At this point at this Goodwill, the store started to get really crowded and there was actually a woman standing right next to me as I was filming this. And she was looking at me really funny and I was definitely in her way. So I apologize <laughs> that my filming started to get rushed, but I was trying to stay out of her way. This is the same pillow I bought at the other Goodwill. This one is double what I paid. Yay for me. I love this little hand painted jewelry box. It was marked Japan and the little ballerina was in front of a mirrored stage, but the music box was broken. That was a real bummer. Okay, so that Goodwill was really busy. Way busier than mine ever gets. And it was kind of hard to film in, so my apologies. I did get some footage, but not a ton because it was so busy. I couldn't really uh, stop to film very slowly, so. All right, I will show you what I got in a haul video. I think I'm gonna keep that separate. 
So hope you've enjoyed shopping along. See you in the next video.